Hello guys, welcome to TechBear. In this video, we are going to work with Core Data. Here we are going to create an app which will allow us to store the task with priority. So let's open up the Xcode and create a new Xcode project. Select single view app, view next, view your product name, let it be list. Make sure I have selected script and storyboard and make sure you also select that user use Core Data option and view next and create. First, I'm going to edit the core data model. I'm going to add an entity. Let's change the entity name is my list. Then I'm going to add attributes. The first one is going to be task. I simply type stream. It will allow us to store the task. And the second one is going to be priority. I simply type stream. It will store the priority of the task, whether high, medium, or low. The third one is going to be color. It's going to be type of a transformable. Uh, it will store the color of the priority. For high, it is going to be red. For medium, orange. For low, it's going to be green. And the fourth one is going to be order. And it's of type uh, integer 16. It will allow us to sort the uh, data according to the priority. So, I'm going to select the code generation as manual or not, and here module as current, module, current uh, product module. And now I'm going to create a custom model, new file, uh, Swift file. Next, uh, let it be model. I'm going to create a class. Uh, my list uh, it will conform to ns manage update uh, we need to import the core data before that okay now we are going to create our NS manage object hit NS manage the first one is going to be task var task is of a type string and second one NS manage var priority is also of type string the third one color is going to be type of UI color UI color we need to import UI kit okay and the last one is going to be finish uh, order uh, sub type integer 16 okay and now we are going to edit our storyboard first I'm going to uh, uh, embed our uh, view controller in a navigation controller okay now I'm going to add a table view into our main view controller. Here we will display our data. Data means task with priority. So table uh, view. Okay, let's keep constraints. Zero from top, zero from left, zero from bottom, zero from right. Add four constraints. I'm going to add a W cell. Okay, it will contain the task. So I will add a label in order to display the task. And let's give some.
constraints left top right and height and you will select the font as custom from system to custom I'm going to select Avenue next will give will be 20 and the second one I will add one more level this will store this will display the priority of the task be custom I will add next 16 we will set the constraints left top right and height for constraints so now we have our table view and I will add a bar button our navigation controller so button item this one here and we'll change this image as plus let's type plus yeah that is okay now I'm going to add a new controller uh, we'll connect it to the subway show so when the plus button here the bar button is clicked we will it will come to the new view controller which will allow us to add the new task so here in the new view controller system to custom and when I'm next be 24 so let it be what's the task something else what I want so what's the task okay now I'm going to add a label sorry a text field Here the placeholder text is going to be enter the task. And I'm going to create uh, give some constraints. Well, I think I didn't give constraints to this one. Left, right, top, height, add for constraints. Now I'm going to give constraints to the text field left top right and height and I'm going to add one more text field and this is for our priority so the place the placeholder text is going to be select the priority Here we will use a picker view to select the priority. So I'm going to add a picker view. Uh, 
okay left top right and height now I'm going to add in a button this button will allow us to save the data text is going to be white and the background color is going to be system blue color okay I will constraints to the button left right top and height okay that's it for this episode so guys see you in the next video in the next video we will design our pick view so thanks for watching